Okay, so let's take that alternating technique and then add just one more thing to it. So I'm gonna add this, uh, it's a very small difference, but if you just watch me, watch what I'm doing. So watch what, what I'm doing as opposed to what I was just doing <laughs> with these top two notes. So before I was alternating by going like this. But now I'm gonna alternate, I'm gonna do the exact same kind of uh, technique, except now I'm gonna alternate using one note here. I'm using these notes, and I'm gonna alternate using, so I'm gonna play one note in my right hand, play one note here, and one note in my right hand. So here I'm actually, instead of going, play close attention to my left hand, so. Now I'm gonna go. So see how I'm just using those, these top two notes on my left hand and I'm alternating these now while I'm alternating my right hand too. So that's why this is like, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's, you know, it's right there for you to use. So try this on the D minor. So play the same chord. So just on the one go. And then you're going to play a note in your right hand and then you're going to play this A first and you're going to alternate between this A and this C or whatever notes you're playing in, in your left hand, like if you want a different chord too. You would just alternate these top two notes with every note that I play in my right hand. So it'll look like this. So it'll be like. And I want to be clear on the different ways that I've taught you to do this. So I've taught you to do this with syncopation. So that was like. So that's where you're playing one note in your right hand for these two notes in your left hand that kind of that go up. So I do A, C. So. And then I just taught you this other way of doing that, which would be I play these two notes at the same time while I play one note in my right hand. So I go, I go. And then this last way was when I was taking one note in my right hand and then alternating them, uh, this A and this C. So I was going like. But for you to understand the difference between those three, you just have to try them out on your own. And also, I should just give you a lot more <laughs> demonstrations of this because I want you to just, you gotta be able to tell the difference between these, uh, even though they're very, very similar. So uh, I'll just do the, all three of these in like slow, fast tempos, and just so you can get a real feel for the difference between them. So I'm gonna do the syncopation here. I'm gonna do the alternating one, so. And then lastly, I'll do this, this, <laughs> this alternating, alternating pattern. So I'm, I'm alternating between my right and my left hand, and then also alternating between these top two notes right here. So I'm taking <laughs> this right hand and I'm going like this. And 
And so all of these uh, in, a, in a fast tempo would be like this. It would be like. That was actually kind of cool because I'm taking that syncopation and I'm swinging it this time rather than just playing it straight like we did in the last break pack. But so then let's take the other one, the alternating, the alternating technique and do that fast. So that's... And lastly, I'm going to do the alternating, alternating technique here. So I'm going to go. <laughs> 